Black powder. He likes black powder. Low blood sugar. Likes low blood sugar. So the question about what makes the best working dog is really the foundation question for the entire working dog center. Our research is centered on trying to determine what the genetics, the training, all different aspects that really make a dog that's going to work well, be successful, love what they do, and work for a long time. Foster's a very special dog. She came to us from the TSA breeding program as part of a cooperative research agreement. And that program has really spent a lot of time selecting the different genetics to, to create dogs that are more successful in the detection field. Her special talent working with us is as an ovarian cancer detection dog. And her second talent is that she's now a mother of these six beautiful puppies. We have three black labs, three yellow labs, two females and four males, and we're really excited about the careers that they have ahead of them. These puppies are part of our research program as well, so we're trying to learn from them and obtain as much data as possible. He's a fan of arson. We have vet students who are spending the summer with us doing research. We have interns and co-op students. We have volunteers. And all of that is geared towards helping us capture data and so that we can monitor their progress and look back and look at maybe how this test that we did today predicts their success in a year. So all of that's really helping with the research. First odor, black powder, different. The first thing that we did with them today is a scent introduction. And we've been doing that with them since they've been about three weeks old. Likes low blood sugar. And our goal with that is to let them sniff different odors, record what their interest is, but our real hope is to start to build some of those neural pathways that really enhance their working with their nose. It's not a big fan of the smell. The aspect of breeding dogs is really critical because we really need to understand what makes a dog successful in a career. And the genetic component is a really big piece. It's always that nature versus nurture. And what we're trying to do is control both sides. So with the, the nature, we're trying to make sure that we have the best genetic possibility, the, the best history from each line so that we can really continue to develop these dogs. And for the nurture, we have them come to our center from the time they're eight weeks old so that we can really augment anything that's natural and, and make the most of it so we end up with the most successful dogs. 